Right, so doing blues chords, blues progressions with chords can be really good fun. And you can start off very simple and then it can get really advanced. And it's a, a great way to just uh, have fun with the guitar and then get into your improvisational stuff, playing little bits of solos. So it just takes you away from just learning people's songs and people's riffs and start to do something of your own creativity. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So you might be familiar with the sound. And it starts again. So that's a 12 bar blues because it lasts for 12 bars. And pretty much most of songs in the blues genre just stick to that format. So it's a nice one to learn. Uh, if I was to make it a little bit more advanced. So I'm just adding a bit more to it. And then further on we go. So you can sort of just muck about with the scale around it and make the chords more interesting. But I'd suggest if you very first to this, just start with. And I'll probably do a number of videos that I'll do the next stage. So let's just stick with the first stage. Okay, so we're not gonna, even though you see a chord, we're not playing a full chord, because that sounds too nice. We're just gonna be playing the, so we start on A, we're gonna be playing the first, where the first finger is of an A and just strumming from the fifth string and the fourth string together. And the first bit goes, you strum that twice, and then you put this little finger here on the same string as what your first finger is, so it takes it to the fourth fret. Hit that once, and then take it off. So twice, then with that. So this finger, don't just plonk it up here on the fifth string or the third string, it's got to go, both these fingers are on the same string, which you might not be used to doing uh, if you're doing chords, They've all, they're always on separate strings, so here. So that's what you've got to master really, if you master that, you've pretty much mastered the song, so here's what it looks like in tab form. You can see there, it's uh, a zero on the fifth string, and then on the fourth string, it goes two, two, four, two. Okay, so if I show you the first top line, it, it rotates that eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it has to be eight because if it's seven, it would feel a bit odd. Okay, so we're going to go to the second line, if you can see here. It, uh, it is the same, but moving down to the two middle strings. So your, your finger that you're placing on is going to be on the third string. And the, uh, the note you're going to play as an open note is the fourth string. So it's basically taking what you got and moving it down a string. So you can see here my first finger's on the third string. I'm going to be strumming the two middle strings. <laughs> And that happens for four times. So here you can see there. One, two, three, four. And in typical blues fashion, you go back to the first chord that you, you played for another four. So here, this is standard start of a blues progression. However many times you play this, you might play this top one four times, but then you'd have to play the D twice and then the A twice. So in ratio, it's always the same. So here we're playing the A eight times, then we play the D four times, and then the A four times. So I'm gonna play what we got so far. So from the A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then to D. So now we've just got the last line to contend with. And on every, it plays two of each here. So the E is on the top string there. 
you can see that so your first thing has got to go on the fifth string and you're plucking the zero the top string so then two together don't assume that you you got to pluck from this finger here this is sort of just a secondary finger the most important note is the zero above it so so it's two on that I'll put the whole line on you can see it's two on the E two on the D so you've got to jump that first finger to that third string then move it up to the A and up to the E so you can see there it's gradually going up a string so it's two uh, cycles on each so one two then to D then up to A and then up to E Uh, let's do that okay I'll do it nice and slow and then I'll do it a bit quicker so A one two three four five six seven eight then to D one two three four back to A So now you'll be able to play the whole of status quo's repertoire uh, or like probably like 20 hours of the same song so uh, i hope that helps maybe start a status quo tribute band all right <laughs> thank you see you later